We are creating massive volumes of data and by all predictions that's set to grow um, significantly not just the data but the applications, the pervasiveness of the devices that enable us to gather this data and it is already changing the way in which we live. People are not necessarily aware of this but it's inside people's clothes, it will enable them you can already buy a, a smart avalanche jacket for when you go skiing that will hook up to the weather forecasting and warn you when to get off the mountain. Um, but it's certainly going to make a difference to our roads, it's going to make a difference to our ability to predict weather, um, our ability to monitor people's health and well-being. And of course, so many things that in this period of austerity where we have limited resource, the ability to have a much smarter understanding of our planet and the way in which we engage with it enables us to better plan our resources in the most general sense and that affects everybody in society. Most people are not aware of the number of sensors they carry around on them every day anyway um, inside their phones and, and the kind of data footprints they leave about themselves today. And once their houses get much smarter and their cars become iPods on wheels and um, in the entirety of our modern built environment gets smarter, then it's unfathomable in some ways. And some people do believe it's spiralling out of control and that, that this massive data explosion needs to go hand in hand with an ethical debate around the correct controls and checks and balances that one needs to put around that to harness it.